Hey guys, it's April from Hagatha's Cauldron, where today we're going to talk about those puppies being hurt in a Virginia breeding, in a Virginia facility. So don't go away. Come right on back. This is important information. See you in a minute. <laughs> guys i just want to let you know i'm reading a couple of articles and i'm going to be posting them in the comments so you can reference back to them but these are horrific articles that i found in regards to animal cruelty i'm not i'm not um an advocate for that i'm really upset about this whole situation but we need to open our eyes and see what's going on to these poor pups somebody has to speak for them and it might as well be us so we're going to dive right into this again i'm going to leave the articles that i'm referencing for this in the comments a virginia dog breeding facility is accused of horrific animal welfare violations have you heard about that where these poor puppies are being tortured or mistreated um the investigators claim the facility performed unnecessary, painful medical experiments on dogs and puppies, including euthanasia without sedatives. Yes, euthanasia without sedatives, guys. This is terrible. So this is happening right now on Cumberland, Virginia. There's two Virginia senators that... expressed complete horror after learning of the alleged Warner animal welfare violations at a Envigo breeding and research facility in Cumberland, Virginia. In this letter, U.S. Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine, both Democrats in Virginia, to the Animal and Plant Inspection Health Inspection Services, the Senators urged APHIS to immediately suspend N. Vigo's Cumberland facility license immediately. N. Vigo is a contract research facility. Their websites list caring about each other, our animals, and the environment, and that's one of their core values. The latest animal welfare violations stem from two new inspections in November 2021 and March 2022. The investigation claimed that facility performed unnecessary painful medical exp experiments on dogs and puppies, including euthanasia without sedatives. The senators say medical records indicate that nearly 200 dogs were euthanized and many were not provided any anesthetic, which goes against the recommendation of the American Veterinary and Medical Association. Without any anesthetic, those poor puppies... Animal Welfare Act violations... And Vigo has caught the attention of federal, federal inspectors previously. Four inspections over the course of nine months revealed more than nine, 70 violations of the Animal Welfare Act at the Envigo Cumberland facilities. Inspectors found puppies and dogs were being held in shelters with temperatures exceeding 85 degrees for more than five hours. They were trying to cook these things. They also claim the research conducted at the facility caused distress to nursing mothers and their puppies after food was intentionally withheld for two days. Now they're starving those poor babies? Inspectors say housing violations at the facility left dozens of dogs injured, including 71 who were hurt when body parts were pulled through the wall at the kennel by other dogs. 50 dogs were also injured or killed due to in incompatible groupings. They were killed. Inspectors say housing violations at the facility left dozens of animals injured, including 71 who were hurt when body parts were pulled through the wall of the, of the kennel by other dogs. 50 dogs were also injured and killed due to in incompatible groupings. It is clear that, to us that Invico has been derelict in its duty to provide for the humane care of its dogs, and it is unable to abide by the basic standards set forth by the Animal Welfare Act, wrote Warner and Kane. The role of the U.S. Department of Agriculture is to ensure humane treatment of animals extends beyond routine and focus inspections. Congress has provided the USDA with broad authority to apply penalties to violators of the Animal Welfare Act. 
To our knowledge, APHIS has not yet exercised such authority, despite Envigo's repeated failures in providing adequate care to over 5,000 dogs entrusted to its Senators care. Senators are asking APHIS to suspend Envigo's license for 21 days before moving to fully revoke the facility's license. The pair requested a response by April 20th. In the face of repeated serious violations by the facility, it is our strongly held belief that USDA must pursue aggressive enforcement actions. PETA claims chronic abuse. The animal activist group called PETA claims to have un shot under undercover video while working at the Envigo facility. The company is contracted to, be to breed dogs for the purpose of research and scientific experiences. The company is contracted to breed dogs for the sole purpose of research and scientific experiments. It, this is being regulated by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. But PETA says what they found is abuse and even torture. Our investigator found just in the course of her shifts, of her shift, her employment alone, more than 360 dead puppies for one shift. She discovered that the facility had an SOP of depriving nursing mothers of food for up to two days before their puppies were taken away from them. The animals were being hosed in the cages with cold water from high pressure hoses. Some of the most graphic cases, puppies allegedly were euthanized without an anesthesia. PETA claims the violations are chronic. And Vigo's family facility just outside of Cumberland is along a gravel road with an unmarked fence. You can hear dogs barking in a distance, but if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, this place can be hard to find. For the company's part, a spokesperson told um, WUSA 9, Envico is making progress on improving the conditions at the Cumberland facility. They're working toward a goal, one caretaker for every 100 dogs and has adopted out nearly 500 to the 5,000 dogs PETA says they are housed there. Advocates say most of us have no idea the kind of breeding and research that goes on there at all, and they want to change that. This is a dog factory farm. It's a confined animal breeding operation involving dogs, PETA said. I think in this day and age, we can do better than that. We do not need to use dogs, monkeys, or other animals and torture them. Virginia's Cruelty Bill. The Virginia legislature just passed several bills that would prohibit the sale of dogs or cats for experimental purposes and penalize, and penalize animal cruelty. On Monday, Governor Glenn Yokin is expected to sign them into law. Meanwhile, the USDA has up until April 20th to respond to the Warner and Kane about their concerns over why the, why the feds haven't shut this facility down. Senators have raised concerns regarding the USDA's delay in publishing the horrific findings. The July report was not publicly released until 118 days after the inspection, with the October and November inspections were not released until three months or more than four months later. While APHIS inspection reports have proven an invaluable research in uncovering the breadth and depth of mistreatment occurring at the Invico and Vigo and facilities, we are concerned with delays in publishing such reports. The senator wrote, advocates, legislators, and the public have waited months after inspections to review inspection report findings. The senators say they appreciate the company complexity of the reports and immense care that the animal care specialists take in preparing them, but they also say it's unacceptable that the public and elective officials were not privy to the horrific violations until months after the expected inspections. It is unacceptable that the public and elected officials were not privy to the horrific violations until months after the inspections happened and the animals suffered, suffered in the interim. So this just in about an hour ago, federal officials have accused a company that runs a Virginia facility breeding dogs for re breeding dogs for research of violating animal welfare law and recently seized at least 145 beagle dogs found to be in acute distress, according to a lawsuit filed today, this Thursday, no, yesterday. The Envigo RMS facility in Cumberland County has been under increased scrutiny for months, drawing concern from animal, right group, animal rights groups, 
members of Congress and Virginia lawmakers who passed animal welfare measures this year intended to tighten up the facilities and requirements and straighten, strengthen, strengthen state oversight. Repeated federal, inspect, repeated federal inspections since Invigo acquired repeated federal inspections since Invigo acquired the facility in 2019 have resulted in dozens of violations, including findings that dogs had inadequate medical care and insufficient food. They were housing in they were housed in filthy conditions and some had been euthanized without first receiving anesthesia. They were euthanized without first receiving anesthesia. Hundreds of dogs have also been found dead at the facility, according to the inspections. Despite being on notice since July 2021 that the conditions at its Cumberland facility fall far below the Animal Welfare Act minimum standards, and Vigo has failed to take the necessary steps to ensure that all of the beagles at its facility are provided humane care and treatment, and that the Cumberland facility is operating in compliance with the Act. The complaint filed in U.S. The complaint was filed in the U.S. District Court for Western District of Virginia. Court records do not list any attorney for Invigo. A spokesman said Wednesday. A spokesman said the company was working on a statement that would respond at some point on Friday. That's today. According to the complaint, agents from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Office of Inspector General of the Inspector General and other law enforcement officers began executing began executing a federal search warrant at the facility Wednesday. As of Thursday filing of the complaint, 145 dogs and puppies found to be in acute distress have been seized. The government is requesting that a judge declare in Vigo has repeatedly a government is requesting that the judge declare in Vigo has repeatedly violated the Animal Welfare Act and restrain the company from further violations. Invigo is failing to meet the minimum standards for handling and housing the beagles, resulting in the unnecessarily suffering and at all times death and at times death of beagles at the Cumberland facility. The complaint said, according to this complaint, the facility has housed up to 5,000 beagles since July 2021, and it alleges staff has been paltry and attending veg. It alleges that staff has been paltry and attending veterinarian has failed to provide oversee and oversee adequate care. And the attendant veterinarian has failed to provide and oversee adequate care. Rather than spend the money to meet the minimum standards, and that's just the minimum standards, and Vigo has employed a paltry number of employees and elected to euthanize beagles or allow beagles to die from malnutrition. Treatable and preventable conditions and injuries resulting from beagles being housed in overcrowded and unsanitary enclosures or enclosures that contain incompatible animals, the complaint said. It cites a finding from July 2021 inspection report that found in Vigo had euthanized dozens of beagles beagles over the course of months rather than provide the care for injuries caused when a body part like an ear or tail were pulled through a kennel wall by a dog next door. As for the dogs that have been found dead, the complaint, the complaint alleges animal care technicians with no former training are allowed to make decisions about whether, to, whether a ne necropsy should be performed, whether a necropsy, a ne necropsy should be performed. Medical records reviewed during the July 2020 inspection indicated that, that for 173 puppies and Vigo staff could not identify a cause of death because the bodies had already begun to decompose. The complaint noted that the inspection, the inspectors have found unsanitary conditions, including an extensive, extensive widespread pest problem, overcrowded enclosure, over overcrowded enclosures and build up of feces, urine and other waste. And a build up of and a build up of feces, urine and other waste. 
in Vigo, which has business mailing address in Indiana, registered as a Virginia LLC in 2019. The compliance said it acquired LabCorp's COVID. It acquired LabCorp's COVID research products business, including the Cumberland County facility, in June 2019. The company has worked to make improvements at the site, including reducing the total number of dogs on site, raising pay, increasing staff, increasing staff training, and enhancing cleaning per, per, and enhancing cleaning processes. According to a statement, a spoke according to a statement, a spokes according to a statement, a spokesman provided the Associate Press earlier today. Earlier this March. year, U.S. Senators in March, U.S. Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine called for the federal inspectors to strip the facility of its license. And a month earlier, U.S. Representative Elaine Laura and six other representatives wrote to the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services, raising similar concerns about why Invigo's license has not been suspended. PETA, the Norfolk-based animal rights group, conducted a months-long undercover investigation into the facility in 2021, and they filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in October of that year, prompting inspections. Senior Vice President Daphina Nakshavis said Peter Friday, alleges workers injected euthanasia drugs directly into the puppy's heart, directly into the puppy's heart without sedation, causing them in mess causing them immense pain. Workers were not veterinarians or even veterinarian technicians. Cut prolapse tissues off puppies' ears, stitched dogs, prolapse penises, and even cut puppies out, out of sedated dogs. And even cut puppies out of sedated dogs' abdomens before putting their mothers down, the PETA claimed in its investigation last year. This group has been sounding the alarm about this facility for months. Daphnitz has credited federal officials for finally taking decisive action. PETA finds suffering like PETA finds suffering like this every time we crack open an operation like Envigo. And this needs to be the beginning of the end for this hideous beagle breeding mill. So I'm finding this story really, really sad, just even think about it. I love animals and the thought of torturing them to doing what this, this facility is doing to them is heartbreaking. It's heart wrenching. Some of the videos I've seen, it just breaks my heart even thinking about it. I hate to think about it, but this needs to be put out in the public. People need to be aware of what's actually happening and we need to stop this. We need to save these puppies and these dogs. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like what I said here today, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave a link in the comments of the articles that I read all this from. Until next time, see you next time. Bye.